Hey there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. I'm your host Pat Sun and today we're gonna be taking a look at r slash surviving infidelity where we have another example of a man with a shiny spine. Let's begin. My girlfriend lied to me to go see her ex and I caught her in the lie. Posted by Reddit user Stromboli Boy. I was with my girlfriend for five months before I caught her in a lie just this week. She had an ex that had recently moved into town from out of state. Knowing everything I know now, there's no way he didn't move here for them to be together. Anyway, we initially talked about the ex being in town, and at first she seemed transparent about the whole thing. I mentioned that it was a little odd to me that he was so insistent on seeing her right after getting into town about two weeks ago. I would have had no problem with her letting me know they were gonna catch up at a restaurant or bar, as I would extend the same courtesy to any of my exes if they came to my city. A few days pass and she calls me at about 4.30 after I'm off work. Says she's gonna hit the gym and go home after. Okay, cool, have fun. It gets to then be around 9pm that night. She almost always calls me before bed, but this time she texts me, and not in the usual way she texts. She was so tired from the gym and was going to go to bed. I called her because I wanted to talk to her before bed. But when she answers and we speak, I can notice that it doesn't sound like she's at home. There's a TV on. She hardly ever watches TV, and it sounds so much more echoey, like a big open room. I being to get dubious. We say goodnight and hang up, but I'm not quite done yet. I had some contact fluid sitting in a very particular place at her apartment, and you'd be able to see it very easily. So I call back and ask if she's seen it anywhere, and she says she is looking but can't find it in the place where I think I may have left it. So now my heart starts to race. In a moment of instinct, I drive to her house to see if her car is there. As I pull up, the only spot in the complex that she has to park in does not have her car. I walk up to her apartment, and since we both had keys to each other's places I enter and she's nowhere to be found. I then begin to call her, multiple times, no answer. Almost an hour passes before she calls me again. I was actually on my way back to her place from my house since I had to first call out of work and get some things. She asks me where I'm at and says she's now at my house. I ask her where she's been and she says she was at her ex's house. My world flipped upside down. I don't really need to cover the details of our conversation but ultimately, she was with her ex from 6pm to 10.30pm at his house the entire time. They talked, made dinner together, and listened to music they liked together for multiple hours. This was all what she had outlined. Whether or not things were physical, I'll never truly know. At the very least she admitted to lying to me because she knew I'd be upset either way, and admitted to having an emotional affair behind my back. She had decided that she was going to see him at about 2pm. I told her that I could not go on with her lying to me, and ultimately dumped her cheating ass. I don't believe that she has that much remorse, as she was so indignant and defensive when I confronted her. She cried and cried, almost to the point of it being a little pathetic, and who knows how much of it all was a facade. I know I deserve better. Every second from the moment she decided to go see him was a chance to come clean and stop herself. TLDR My girlfriend went to go see her ex without telling me, lied blatantly to my face, and I caught her in the lie and dumped her. She basically admitted to an emotional affair with her ex, and they have sexual history together. Plus, she was in his house for four and a half hours. I would rather believe that the earth is flat rather than them not having sex. She did this to herself. You need to block her on everything, OP. But before you do that, you should let everyone know what she did. Before she can twist this story and make you look like the bad guy. Before she can play the victim. Before she can blame you or blame her ex. No, she must suffer the consequences of her stupid actions. And now for today's second story. My wife had an emotional affair with a co-worker and has filed for divorce. Posted by Reddit user Meso de Leoma. I've only been married 7 months and have been with her for 6.5 years total. But I'm looking down the barrel at a divorce already. Last month I found out my wife was having an emotional affair with a co-worker that was escalating quickly. Nudes had just been exchanged before I went through phone after I became suspicious. My soon-to-be ex has waffled on reconciliation. Reason being was my explosive reaction the affair. A lot of heinous name calling. Threatening her affair partner with violence and punching a hole in our wall. She claims to have issues working past the temper I revealed to her. We've been separated for six weeks and I keep waiting for I miss you text, but I don't see it coming. We had a very contentious phone call over the weekend. At the end of it she said she was filing on the Monday that just passed. She hasn't filed yet, but I suspect she will. 
I'm still open to working things out because I foolishly still love her and have feelings for her, but she has bailed on marriage counseling, so I suspect the end is near. What sucks is I'm now a 33-year-old man living with his parents. I had nowhere else to go. Granted, this is just temporary, and I would have gotten my own place had my soon-to-be ex not pissed away so much of our money in the recent months. What hits me is the loneliness. I love my parents, but I'm already kind of over being here, but until she files I feel like I'm in limbo. How did you guys cope in the early days of your separation and divorce? I'm in counseling and that helps, but I feel so lost and alone. Update, I was only married 7 months and have been with her for 6.5 years total, but I'm looking down the barrel at a divorce already. Last month I found out my wife was having an emotional affair with a coworker that was escalating quickly. Nudes had just been exchanged before I went through phone after I became suspicious. I feel like we've been here before, have we been here before? My soon-to-be ex waffled on reconciliation. Reason being was my explosive reaction the affair. A lot of heinous name calling, threatening her affair partner with violence, and punching a hole in our wall. She claims to have issues working past the temper I revealed to her. We've been separated for six weeks and I kept waiting for I miss you text, but it never came. Oh my god, this is happening again. We had a very contentious phone call over the weekend. At the end of it she said she was filing on the Monday and ended up doing it yesterday. I was still open to working things out because I foolishly still love her and have feelings for her, but she bailed on marriage counseling, so knew the end was near. What sucks is I'm now a 33-year-old man living with his parents. I had nowhere else to go. Granted, this is just temporary, and I would have gotten my own place had my soon-to-be ex not pissed away so much of our money in the recent months. What hits me is the loneliness. I love my parents, but I'm already kind of over being here. I just don't understand how she could throw away our relationship and marriage like it was nothing. I always took care of her, spoiled her with affection, and did everything I could to make her happy. Her reasoning to checking out early into our marriage was when I blew off her work Christmas party. Granted, I should have went. I was just in a real funk at that time, had a rough day at work, and could not pretend like I wanted to go. However, that is no reason to bail on a marriage so soon. She claimed that it made her reflect on the all the times she went to things alone the past couple years, conveniently forgetting I was working full-time and in nursing school during that time. I've never felt so betrayed and unloved. I can't help but laugh at us beginning marriage counseling in March while she was having an active affair. Prior to my discovery, I had genuinely felt like I had been a neglectful partner. I never deserved to be treated this way. OP, I know it doesn't really feel like it, but you're just 33, that is so young. I mean, dude, you have barely begun the peak of your life as a man. You have a degree now and a bright future ahead of you. This mess is just temporary. And living with your parents is the smartest decision you could have made given the situation. OP, before you know it, this will just be a memory. But for now, you need to work on yourself. Go to the gym, reconnect with some old friends, get back into your hobbies, man. And for fuck's sake, stop feeling sorry for yourself. Just do something about it, OP. A whiny, lazy man is just pathetic. Viewer support is the best way for me to remain independent and continue bringing you these daily videos, which will always be here on my channels for you to watch absolutely free. So please consider subscribing to me on Rumble and on YouTube. Both will be linked in the description box down below. Thanks for listening everyone. If you even somewhat enjoyed today's story, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you really like it, consider subscribing to Pat Sun to never miss a future upload. Stay strong.